Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a topic called gravitation. Let me read out the problem first. The problem is like this. Find the point on which the gravitational force acting on any mass is zero due to the earth and the moon system. Assume that the mass of the earth is 81 times that of the moon. And the distance between the earth and moon is 3,85,000 kilometers. So let us try identifying that how to solve this problem. Assume this is the earth and this is the moon. Let us assume mass of the earth is capital M, mass of the moon is small m because it is small. It is given that they were separated by some distance and we are saying let us find a point P who is at a distance x from earth or else we want to calculate at a distance between the earth and the moon whatever it is right from we can calculate it either from the earth or else the moon then let the other distance becomes automatically R minus x. On this particle P, point P, I have to keep a third mass. On this third mass, let's identify what kind of the forces are acting. The earth applies a gravitational force of attraction on this. That is F1. Moon also applies a gravitational force of attraction because gravitational force is always attraction, F2. They were two are already in opposite direction. If they are equal in magnitude, both of them will cancel each other. Therefore, whatever the mass that is kept at the particle P, position P, doesn't experience any force. Therefore, for particle of mass M kept at P, not to experience any force force on that particle due to the earth has to be the force on the particle due to the moon because they are already in opposite direction how much is the force is we can calculate using the newton law of gravitation how much is that g mass of the earth and mass of this particle by x square because we have assumed that separation is x g mass of the moon this one on this m by r minus x whole square m's can be cancelled g's can be cancelled so simplifying this equation further let us see what it gives for us mass of the earth by x square equal to mass of the moon by r minus x whole square so r minus x by x whole square equal to mass of the moon by mass of the earth Taking the square root on both the sides, dividing with x, r by x minus 1 equal to, so r by x equal to root of mass of the moon, mass of the earth plus 1. If you want the value of x. So I can find the value of x as total separation by radius of mass of the moon and mass of the earth plus 1 outside the square root. Substituting the values r mass of the moon if you call it like m mass of the earth is 81 times of m plus 1. 
so x value is r by square root of 1 by 81 plus 1 that is r by 1 by 9 plus 1 that's r by 10 by 9 that's nothing but equal to 9 r by 10 as you know the value of this r we can substitute that value and get the value of x identify the location where the gravitational force is 0 on the third particle so how much its value is 9 by 10 or 0 0.9 times of 3 lakh 85,000 this is the answer whatever may be the calculation is identify and identify the answer you will be getting the answer in kilometers itself thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more of the lessons thank you